This is football analysis, and I'm here with yeah, here with uh, only bars. And uh, as you guys know, this is Champions League night. So as now out of Champions League race, and what what can you say about that? Um, watching the match is not something that uh, the whole Arsenal fans are happy about. Contributing to the way many of the players have really, really played so far. Uh, looking at the the performance of uh, people like uh, Saka, the or uh, the people like uh, Martellini and some players there, and even con also the contribution of the coach in, in general. All those things uh, actually is 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 not showing any sign of improvement because uh, we keep on doing the same thing and expecting a different result is not is not the way forward uh, moving forward is forward and when you are moving backward you don't you don't actually say you are also making any progress here and truly truly anybody that's, that watched this particular match uh, today knows that there is no we are not actually making any progress with the way we are well with, with the way we have been playing Talking about the changes, wrong the the way the the, the wrong the level of wrong changes in uh, in in our in our uh, pattern of play, not even knowing how to convert to a new pattern. When you know that a particular pattern is not really really working, what you need you need to do is that you bring a new pattern that can make you to get the result. The game of football, what is everybody is concerned about is get the result. Anyhow, you get the result, nobody cares about it. And after playing the, the any match and you do not get the desired result, is is uh, uh, all the whole effort is just a wasted effort. And majority of the Arsenal fans all over the world are not really really, really happy based on the performance that we just uh, the players put in in this particular match this night, and also the kind of uh, attitude. Our uh, coach himself has also been putting in everything pertaining the the match. All right, so let me ask you about two or three of your players, which is Saka, Martinelli, and Havertz, because these are people. These are your front three players that are supposed to make things happen up front, but they refuse. They they weren't able to, you know, kind of penetrate uh, uh, Bayern Munich defense. Saka not even getting past only even one player. But then not even getting past one player or two, and Harvard was was nowhere to be found. To be very honest in this match, what can you say about how they played today? Okay, when you begin to look at um, the performance of uh, uh, Saka, uh, Harvard, and uh, Martellini, first let me start with Harvard. I couldn't even see why Havas finished this particular match because he was totally in, insignificant in this particular match from the beginning to the end. I don't really know what he was really, really doing there. If maybe uh, Ateta was still hoping that something is going to happen. This is Champions League for crying out loud. Everybody, you know, everybody needs to put every, every team puts everything on the line to make sure that you keep on moving. And you, you see a player that has been making a lot of unnecessary errors in the, in the, in the final, in, in, making the, in making the final decision, and you still leave such player in the, in the, in the, in the, in the in, you still leave such player in the game. Couple with uh, the man called uh, Saka. Saka have really not been feeling fine. And you have a lot of players in the bench. What are they really, really doing there? How many players travel with uh, uh, with uh, Ateta to, to, to um, how many players travel with him to Germany? Almost twenty something, and you keep all of them in the bench, and you keep on repeating the same thing. And then what? Okay, look at Martellini. You kick the ball, and you just you are just pushing shadows without even having a direction towards football. And all these things is when you begin to look at the at their ball, you begin to ask: Are these people really ready? Do they, do they what what is in their mind? Do they really want to win this particular this particular tournament? The thing is, if the match today, I'm really really not happy about their performance. At some point, it was a little a little boring about their performance in, in, in general they were just unnecessarily putting pressure on the on the defense line because when the attacking is not moving forward what happens is you are just telling your opponent to be moving the ball backward to your own side and what happens you are already putting pressure okay look at the man called the uh, odegaard today he was running from from pillar to post okay at some point martillini was really helping him uh, out what happened the coach removed martillini allowing only him to be running around this is this is Champions League. Every every team is already already putting everything. That's why at some point uh, people like coaches like uh, uh, Mourinho was calling uh, as a Wenger specialist in failure. This uh, so this is one of the things you begin to watch in football. Begin to watch in the kind of pattern of play, the 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 the, the, the tactics you put in, and when you begin to see it's not really working. Or a reasonable coach. I don't know if Arteta is a baby coach. Because this is a, a time where you begin to you begin to uh, and you begin to. Change the pattern of playing in order to make it to favor you. This is, you are going to Germany. Since you are unable to give, beat them in your home, what you are supposed to do there is to put everything on the line. 
the champion, the, the Premier, the Premier League were even going for the the they traded the Premier League for Champions League, isn't it? Now we are not even having the, the Champions League again. Now, what is now the hope that we are going to win the Premier League? It's it is totally, it's totally, it's totally a charade. Or the, 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 our performance here today in Germany today is totally a charade. And every Arsenal fan is not really happy with Ateta and with the performance of the boys. All right, you mentioned you know going into the next game and the uh, the other one. Do you think? Arsenal can do it playing the, their next game and the, and the next, which is Wolf, in four to five days. Uh, anything we're doing is working well. If uh, Ateta can easily go back to the drawing board and begin to look for the places in which he has gone it wrong and begin to correct all those wrongs. And I believe we can, the, our next match is supposed to be against uh, Wolf. And uh, that match I, is like it's supposed to be in our own ground. And I believe. Is also it will also be a time for the players to redeem themselves because truly truly if we end up this season without the champions league since we are, i know we are not and we are not ending it with the champions league and we, if we end this season without the premier league i will say that it will be a a, a year that uh, many arsenal fans will not really really try to remember because looking at the way we started the season we believe at least we would have been going at home with if not the Premier League or even the Champions League. And now we are out of the Champions League. And the, our next match, we are not even sure of the tactics in which he will be playing. And I believe one of the weak points we are having in Arsenal, now one of them is the Havertz. It's, time, it's, it's, it's the right time that he begin to... If the Havertz is not, is not comfortable in that, you remove him, you have a lot of players here. We have a lot of players. And, and I believe uh, in our subsequent match, if he keep on doing the, the the things he have been doing, repeating that errors, there is still a, a very high tendency that we are not going to get the desired result. That is just it. We are not going to get the desired result. All right. So, do you think Gabriel Jesus would have fitted would have been fit for that position more than Havas? Do you think Gabriel Jesus shouldn't have been coming in from the bench? You, you know, you feel like Gabriel Jesus needs to be starting because uh, when he came on. I see some flair. He tried his best, you know. Yeah, when you talk about Gabriel Jesus, he's supposed to be, he's supposed to have started this match. But when you watch the first uh, leg against Bayern, you see, it was when he and the uh, Trossard came in that we were able to score the equalizing goal. And when you begin to see something like this, and a, a coach of this caliber then decide to keep those people in the uh, maybe he's waiting, he's keeping them there for the final of the Champions League. But forgetting that in Champions League, is you win the game before you, then begin you be, before you begin to expect another game. Now, see, uh, 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 Gabriel Jesus is supposed to have started. And uh, assuming maybe he started him and that Ross has started, maybe the, 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 we wouldn't have maybe been where we are now. Maybe uh, in the second half, you begin to bring people like uh, Trossard. Uh, sorry, begin to bring people like Matelini, since uh, him and, and uh, Trossard will be starting. But what is happening here is that I would say one of he lack a, a he lack a, a, a mentality of changing his tactics, knowing how he can play that can suit him. Because yes, if when you have people like Morijo uh, in such case scenario, they can easily come and when they check it and it's not working, they change the, the entire tactics and it begin to work for them. We have even seen whereby Mori don't even mind using even a Mayfair to play as a, a, a force nine in order to make sure he get the result. And even against Bayern, that was either 2013 um, or thereabout, whereby he played uh, Mikel and uh, 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 one of the players uh, in order to make sure that he get the desired result. Totally, totally, today's uh, uh, performance is, 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 is totally bad. It's, it's totally not we, the Arsenal fans, have really, really been expecting. And every Arsenal fan, true Arsenal fan, I believe now is not really happy with what we have really, really seen in this encounter this evening. All right, moving forward, what can you say about the final verdict of this match? Your coach, the goal, the chances they created, the chances they missed, and that of Bayern Munich. Um, uh, talking about the goal and uh, the chances, the thing there is that uh, we need a striker. Arsenal need a striker. Because what we have been, we have been doing try and error, and it's not really, really working. We have been trying to use a first line to play it, and it's not, it's not giving us the desired result. What we need is a striker. Maybe in the in summer when we be when the transfer market will be open, and um, I wish Bayern well, uh, since we are unable to 
maybe take it to the next level. We wish them where they should also go and do their best. And uh, maybe uh, Man City can also bring it back to England. But uh, Arsenal, Arsenal, if we continue the way we are going, one day we may, we may, we may wake up and see ourselves in the position of uh, Chelsea, who is struggling in 11-12, uh, 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 11-12, 11-12, 11-12. And it's not, it's not what we desire for ourselves. That's just it. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Please, guys, if you are watching, please keep watching. And don't forget to follow us on all social media handles at Football Analysis. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Football Analysis, at Football Analysis 247. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.